In this video, I'm going to show you a little trick that I bet you didn't know to make sure any corner is 90 degrees square. Hey everyone, welcome back to David's DIY Reviews. On this channel we do tool reviews, tool how-to videos, little wooden DIY projects, and woodworking kind of just measuring and you know, useful tips like this video. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for a lot more really great content that's gonna help you with your DIY woodworking projects. Today I'm gonna show you a little trick called the 345 triangle or the Pythagorean theorem. It's a little trick that you can use to check almost any corner that you want to be square to make sure that it's 90 degrees. I'm gonna show you now. So the theory of this triangle is if you have a triangle that measures 3, 4, 5 equally in you know, any increment of measurements, this corner here, the one that's 90, will be exactly 90 degrees. So here I've got a triangle drawn to square that is 3 inches by 4 inches by 5 inches. And as you can see, this corner right here is going to be perfectly 90 degrees. It's a really, really useful tip. I'll show you how you really put it to use right now. So how you would go about using this little technique in real world examples would be, let's say this was a deck you were laying out. So you're trying to get the corner of your deck 90 and you've got one side of the deck fastened down and it can't move, but this side you haven't started yet, you can still move it. So what you would do is you would measure out, let's say, three meters, three feet, or you can multiply that, multiply them out to anything. You could do, you know, six or you could do 12. So let's say you measure out three feet, three meters, whichever it's going to be, you mark it. Then what you do is you move this back and forth like that until the measurement of this side of the triangle is five or 10 or 15 or however you've gone about it. So you do three and then you measure four across here, put a mark, you put your tape or string line, whatever it is you're gonna use, and you move this in and out like this until this measurement is 10. And then you've got your three, four, five, or you know, six, eight, ten triangle. And once you've got that, this corner is gonna be exactly 90. And of course, the same thing works in metric and imperial. Like this is a uh, three, four, five millimeter triangle. You can multiply that out to however big you need it to be. This is a 12, 16, 20 millimeter triangle. And that corner will be 90 degrees. Same with inches, multiply it out. If, if three, four, five doesn't work, if it's too small, you need to go bigger because it's a bigger you know, corner that you're trying to get 90. You go six, eight, 10, you multiply it out however you need to for it to work. And like I said, the key is to move these sides back and forth. Once you've got your three marked, your four marked, you move the sides back and forth until this is five. That's the key to making this technique work. And if you're trying to figure this technique out, you know, from the beginning, do it on paper like I've shown in these diagrams. That's really the key. The key is going to be to do it on paper first and kind of get it figured out and then use it in kind of real world examples. And if using a measuring tape is something you're struggling with, check out this uh, video in the YouTube card above. It's a great little piece of content on how to use a tape measure, all the tricks to using a tape measure that you may not even know about. And leave it in the comments below if you maybe have a better way to check corners for 90 or anything to add to what I've done in this video here. Any tips or tricks to laying out projects that could help with you know other people along the way when they're you know building their DIY wooden projects. And like always guys, David's DIY Reviews, Check me out every week for a lot of really great content, project builds, helpful tips and tricks. See you in the next video.